What's up, everybody? YouTube family, everybody out there in the Bitcoin world that's interested in the Bitcoin, Bitcoin derivatives, whether it's BitConnect, USI Tech, but mainly what I'm talking about is USI Tech. <clears throat> now, if you follow the online Twitter rants and whatever the case may be on um, direct reporting, Twitter particularly, or if you're a USI Tech, you may have noticed a big old message on your USI Tech account. And unfortunately, due to all of the recent unveiling of things going on in Texas with USI Tech representatives and whatsoever the case may be, it seems that USI Tech has decided to stop doing business in the USA as well as Canada because I guess it's just too much for them to put up a fight. Or they foresee money being lost if they are to were to pursue actions or whatever there is to come. So it seems that they are pulling out of the U.S. altogether. So leaving a lot of people disappointed because a lot of people are looking at this as a, a way to break free. And I mean, it was, it was an awesome opportunity. I mean, I was making money off of it. It's about $50 a day right at 87 bit packets right now so only invested 80 only purchased 80 so yeah I mean it was picking up pretty good but USI Tech let us down it's ridiculous who would have knew but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna read to you what I found and just so you can see what's what Pete what they're saying and what's going on I'm reading this off of um, medium.com all right it's saying usi tech terminates all distributors in the u.s and canada facing government regulatory pressures usi tech discontinues all business activity in the u.s and canada effective immediately who would have knew fuck all right all right all right dear customer you are active for our company in the U.S. or Canada. As a distributor offering our services, we are, we're utterly dismayed to learn that a large number of our sale representatives extensively advertise our services on their own websites as well as on social media in a manner which is a breach of contract as well as illegal and which gives the appearance that our service portfolio violates both U.S. and Canadian law. I mean, if it doesn't violate it, what's the problem? It don't matter what other people make it look like. I mean... If anything, they should be targeting the people that's creating this problem, but it seems it's bigger than that. Meaning, what they're saying here must have some type of white gray area around it or whatever the case may be. This is our source already resulted in actions by the respective authorities against various distributors as well as the first preliminary injunctions in response to this advertising behavior. The initiation of the above mentioned off official action and the court ordered preliminary injunctions has also inevitably placed our company in a legally problematic situation. This is due to the fact that in the event of any doubt, it cannot be ruled out that this illegal advertising by the distributors involved will cause the relevant authorities to suspect that our company itself is promoting this type of advertising activity or at least tolerate it. This type of alarming view by the authorities will lead to unforeseeable damage for our company as well as our sales partners who observe apl applicable laws. We cannot subject our company or our reputable sales partner to this danger. So apparently this is a lawyer talking. Consequently, we have decided to immediately dis discontinue our business activities as well as our sales in the US and Canada. Unfortunately, this also has a direct consequence for you as a sales partner since the cessation, no, cease, Cessation of our marketing operations means that we are forced to immediately terminate our contractual relationship with you. Although we deeply regret this step both on business and a personal level, effective immediately we hereby summarily cancel the existing contractual relationship with you as a distributor. We hereby summarily cancel summarily cancel existing contractual relationship with you as a distributor. Or alternately hereby notify you of ordinary termination as of the next possible date. Um, in light of the above announced termination effective immediately, you may no longer market goods, software, or other services to our customers. And we will unfortunately no longer be able to accept applications for distributor agreements from third parties from you. In order, to, in order not to jeopardize the termination of our contractual cooperation, for security reasons, your sales partner account and our back office will immediately be blocked. 
Naturally, we will be paying out all commissions earned up to today's date. We expect to check your remaining unpaid commissions within the next two weeks. And as part of this process, we will also check offset reclaim commission claims of various distribution partners for unlawful double payments, rebuys, as well as for unlawful payments due to double accounts. Once we have concluded our audit and have determined commission claims, we will remit them to you, taking into account the requirements of Section 14 of our distributed terms and conditions with respect to those sales partners whose illegal advertising behaviors are responsible for this current situation. We reserve the right to assert claims for damages, which we will also enforce by offsetting them against commission claims. We would also like to point out that, as a result of the above termination, effective immediately, you must destroy or take offline our websites, landing pages, social media sites, chat groups, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, WhatsApp, Telegram, PP, or other online or offline advertising materials related to direct sales of our goods, software, other services, or our direct sales concept. At the same time, you are obligated to immediately discontinue or cancel all current advertising and our planned advertising, promotional events, or other promotional efforts for our company. In addition, you must immediately terminate or discontinue the use of any registered internet, domains, social media accounts, WhatsApp groups, or comparable tools, as well as delete the associated login and for registration. And as far as their internet domain, social media accounts, WhatsApp groups, or similar tools include our name, trademark, product names, or other characteristics of our company. Compliance with the foregoing is also very important with respect to your own interests. Example, in order to steal, in order to steal any concerns on your part with respect to warnings or other actions for misleading or unlawful advertising by third parties or any official investigation of you, given that we have terminated our direct sales in the United States and Canada. If you currently also use our product software or other services as a customer, we will be promptly informing you separately regarding the continuation of our customer relationship with you. We would like to conclude by thanking you for your commitment to our company and for your sales effort. We extremely regret these recent negative developments caused by the behavior of dubious sales partners and wish you all the best professionally and personally. Best regards, USI Tech, Stephanie Willery. Following the direct sell, selling report on Twitter. All right, Stephanie Willery. All right, so that concludes the letter. Um, I had to come out and share this information with you guys. I hope it was informative. I was searching all over YouTube, couldn't find anything. Then I started searching Google and I found these various postings on different sites and social media outlets. So, hey, I just brought it to you. Peace. Um, I think I'm going to go to BitConnect now. Mm -hmm. All right. Later.